are always in fashion, so I would like to thank the Academy. <laughs> Ignore the mess guys, sorry. That's what happens when I'm trying to get dressed for an event most of the time, unless I am for sure know what I'm going to wear. This is what my living room end up looking like and also I've been feeling, filming my makeup videos on here. So I bought all my makeup out, but this is a stick of butter outfit as you can see. I like it, I'm doing orange shoes and I'm gonna do red bag. I'm not sure yet if it's even warm out outside yet to even wear this trench coat, but if I can wear this in Paris, back in september i can certainly wear it with the weather we've been having in new york honestly because i think it was like 45 degrees outside into the astrid and miu piercing event i don't think i want another piercing because i have really tiny ears and also i think it's like super classic when you just have just one piercing even though i have a second one here i think having a second one and just one ear it's fine i don't want to have to replicate it on this one i like to have this one be one, although years back I did have two piercing, but I was being a controlled freak. I wouldn't let the piercer, um, is that what they call them, do their thing. And then I ended up choosing it here, not realizing it, the distance was too far apart between the two. So I ended up never wearing the second earring because it was just too far. Now I can ha actually have it there because it will just be a nice continuation. And But I just don't think I fit the mold for like multiple piercing but what i do want to try though is a cuff like but for the cuff i don't think you need to have your ears pierced for that one i don't want to go anyways just meet the team but this is my look i'm actually really in love with this look i'm gonna do my red bag i know orange and red but um who cares i'm ready to go i'm a little bit early so that's why i'm not leaving yet maybe i'll take you guys along with me oh yeah i'll do i'll put you guys yeah in my pocket because i don't have space in my um these are probably all receipts from Paris, I bet you. Extra button. Yeah, this is from Paris because I could see the Celine when I went to the Celine store and I was trying on perfume and things like that. They don't smell like anything anymore. Crazy. But I mean, it's been six months though. But I thought they would be like stronger than this. I guess not. What did I buy here? Uh, I don't know what I bought for 60 euros. Le Mans. Oh, Le Mans. Oh, that was my ticket. That was my ticket to come back to Paris from the countryside. I love this look. I'm just loving this creamy. I'm gonna spray my feet though, so I can be a little bit more sparkly. So let's do that, and then I gotta leave the house. This is such a great little neighborhood to shop. And this is the Astrid and Mew right over here. Let's go in. I'm excited. All right, let me look up the name of the person who invited me now. Legendary Charlotte over here. Hello. <laughs> Regardless, you just want to use a spray version. Spray it front and back twice a day, every day, and then just make sure you're keeping it nice and dry as well. But a long-winded way of saying, leave it alone, keep it clean. Keep it Guys, 
guess what? I stopped by St. Ambrose. My problem is when I bring my camera with me, most of the time I still forget to vlog. Not even that. I think because things like kind of move so fast and I'm just like in the moment, like it doesn't even register for me to pull out the camera for everything. So, oh, train is here. Train is here. up and then I call a car to go to Whole Foods because I'm already here and I've been meaning to go to Whole Foods I don't have anything to cook so it's actually perfect we are on our way to Whole Foods because I don't want to leave my house again for the rest of the week I think next time why does my eye look like that next time I leave the house it's probably gonna be Sunday hello guys I am back the light is probably gonna make it look a little bit crazy it's too bright in here but I am back I went to Whole Foods like I told you because I took the train um, I was there I was like you know I may as well go because I needed to go one of the main things that needed was ginger because I went out of ginger shop today was my last shot for the ginger but honestly Whole Foods has not good ginger it's just been a hit or a miss right now they just have the stuff that is um not organically grown and it's disgusting I always look for the organic one um i may have to go to 72nd street because i cannot live without ginger we'll see hopefully i get it by the weekend but tonight taught me a lesson again and when i was telling you guys it's better to always be overdressed and underdressed the other night i don't know if i told you guys about what happened guys, but what happened last week you know i was invited to like a vogue event well i wasn't invited i was marie's plus one for that event and i knew i should have dressed up and i didn't and i regretted it because at the party although i didn't even make it to the party thank god i didn't end up making it to the party because i would have been embarrassed honestly by my outfit again i know it shouldn't matter and blah 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 are you guys you know gonna tell me oh, yeah, it shouldn't matter you should be wearing <clears throat> what you've worn before i get it but sometimes when you dressed up it actually demands respect i know people shouldn't treat you, you know people should treat everyone with kindness like it doesn't matter but at the end of the day we're human beings and it's just human nature to always gravitate towards someone who dressed up who take care of themselves tonight reminded me that well well you need to step it up a notch i think i need to step it up a notch obviously i'm not gonna dress like this going to whole foods but now when i go into whole foods i'm gonna try to i mean not whole foods when i am going out in general i'm gonna try to put a little bit more effort to get dressed up like even the girls at astrid and miu event they were dressed so lovely they were just like fawning all over my outfit my shoes bag literally everything they're like are you going somewhere after this are you and i'm just like no this is it i'm coming here even my uber driver went out of his way to come open the door for me i'm at whole foods i didn't even pay for a bag i got three freaking bags the manager came and helped me put the bag together helped me pack my stuff and then i walk up the guy's just like running it's just like oh it looks like your bag is going to break let me give you another one and i'm just like celebrity treatment my god actually for me it's easy for me to dress up because not only i have the clothes but usually my makeup is already done you know what from now on i'm gonna bring it like when i tell you i cannot tell you how many compliments i get at whole foods whole foods alone i probably got 10 compliments even i'm standing i was at the station outside 125th this taught me a lesson it's actually great because compared to last week when i wasn't dressed didn't feel comfortable in things compared to this week now when i actually got overdressed for this event and i cannot wait till we wear this outfit I'm, i am obsessed guys i am obsessed all right i got steak i'm gonna cook steak because honestly i've been missing steak last night i almost ordered a burger and i'm happy i didn't but then again the burger at sylvia's is amazing i'm kind of happy that i live in this area because i am around all the amazing food i just didn't know about them if it wasn't for sandra taking me to sylvia's the other day um i don't think i vlogged it i hope i did but i don't think i vlogged it i would have never known about sylvia even though it pops up on my uber eats app all the freaking time 
never knew about it so i'm so happy sandra took me there and pff, it's amazing like the burger is insane so freaking good and it feels healthy too it doesn't feel like you know ugh. But here and there i think once a month I will treat myself to a burger but i cannot overdo it you know because again we're trying to have abs but i've been working out a lot and i'm finding out one of the reasons why you know i have issue with getting abs because for the amount that i work out in a way i should have already seen the big difference one of the reasons why is because i have a cortisol tummy i've just been trying to like debunk what it is and then the video came across my page and i'm just like ah that's what it is you know when she goes on the symptoms because for years i drunk coffee on an empty stomach which is really bad you know now I, I wait like an hour to two hours before i drink coffee and i always make sure i have some warm water or my ginger shot before working my probiotics all that stuff working before i drink my coffee so you just get my tummy ready and also for my blood type my stomach is already like very high my stomach is already acidic I am not supposed to be drinking coffee on an empty stomach. It's like the worst thing that I could do for my stomach. But the only thing is because I don't eat breakfast, it actually makes it hard for me to have coffee after I eat something. Night, I actually got, I ordered more magnesium because the one that I have, it used to be good. It's not as good anymore. I'm telling you guys, two years ago when I used to use, and this thing is, it's so freaking expensive. It's like, when I buy it, it's like over a hundred dollars for the pack and it used to come into six pack now they reduce it to four pack and plus I still have to pay like twenty dollars or forty dollars for shipping which is outrageous and then you get the product it's not as good as it used to be like before it used to be so cloudy it used to be so white not cloudy now it's cloudy before it used to be white because you can actually see all the magnesium so it hasn't been getting me the benefits like the other one used to the other ones whenever i used to just drink a little bit of it forget about it my body will just get ready you know relax and ready for bed and then when i wake up in the morning it just straight shoot you know like you know clean me out and all that good stuff and i haven't been feeling that so i end up getting more magnesium which is magnesium um glycinate um they have different type i heard the citrate is not the best so i got this one it's linked in my thing so you can get it under supplements um i'm gonna take one right now so hopefully that helps me because i'm trying to get to bed by 9 p.m these days so i can wake up at like five o'clock because when i wake up five o'clock in the morning my brain is fresh i can do more now let's go and make steak i don't know if i'm gonna cook with you because i'm just not in the mood for that you guys seen me make steak a thousand times steak salad mm, i don't think i'm in the mood for salads i think Ooh, I'm gonna air fry some broccoli. I did get some broccoli, so I'll just air fry some broccoli. Let's go. Hey guys, so I made steak and rice. I wanted to do broccoli, but for some reason, I don't think I like steak and vegetables. I feel like I should, but I don't. Whenever I make steak, I feel like I like something heavy to go with it, which makes actually no freaking sense. The princess cake doesn't feel like dessert to me because I feel like it's so light it doesn't even count all right guys tonight i am going to make a broccoli pasta um i want to turn this light off but i don't know if i'll have enough light let's see i live alone right and i cook for one and then the mess that i create and i'm just like how do people do it cooking for two or three people like that sounds insane to me i am making broccoli pasta this should be fun i'm actually super excited
let's test this out if this is good from now on that's how i want to make my pasta and i've been looking for something different this might be it especially since i get my veggies and carbs at the same time i mean not good carbs but this is the move this is one of the best pasta i've ever had this actually remind me of the pesto pasta that i had in italy almost you know 10 years ago now wow this is freaking delicious highly recommend you try this again i showed you how i made it but there's no measurements guys it's just like the fun of cooking is not having to measure everything so i went on tiktok the first video that i saw with the guy that's the one that I follow. Add garlic. Add one ounce full of broccoli cooking water and simmer on medium heat for about 10 minutes or until you can mash them. Okay. Good morning, guys. I am ready. So after I shower, I usually put a little bit of a foam on the, the baby hairs and then I wrap it with a silky thingy and I just took it off and then I'm going to go on live and do my makeup on Instagram. But I quickly wanted to tell you guys some update. I don't know. I think I was telling you guys the other day i don't know if i articulated it you know properly but i think i discovered what i have something that's called cortisol tummy because for years i've had coffee and an empty stomach so that used to spike my cortisol level which in turn make me gain weight in this area so i've been working out over the years every time i've ever gone to the gym i always end up gaining weight and i used to never understand i mean i understand the whole thing i'm gaining muscle mine is just it's not even muscle it's just like fat so i never kind of like understood why i used to always gain weight especially on my tummy area whenever i used to start working out that's what i've been doing for the past couple of months I've been really 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 like working out consistently for my tummy so at this point I should have I should have had some abs by now but instead what I am left with is my tummy keep getting bigger so, and then I'm just like you know what something to add a give like I need to find out what is happening because all the time that I've been working out there's no reason why my abs are not in a good position and then something came on my on my page on TikTok talking about cortisol tummy and I'm just like this finally actually makes sense so i am positive that's what it is i've done the two worst thing which is drinking coffee on an empty stomach and also going to bed super late i've got four months to get rid of this tummy let me try out something different so in the morning now when i wake up the best exercise to lose that is actually walking which is fine by me because that's always been my preferred exercise anyways i hate traditional gyms in the morning now this morning like i woke up i walked 15 blocks back and forth so i guess i mix it 30. i'm trying to do my 10,000 steps steps a day i'm going to start incorporating pilates but i'm gonna try this for an entire month and see how it goes and then next month i will incorporate very low impact workouts like pilates movements just for the abs area to just get it like really really toned but i've gone back to eating breakfast one thing that i find actually going outside to walk within the first hour of me waking up actually makes me a little bit hungry where to the point where i actually want to eat something so i am making an omelet so now i'm a little bit scared to drink coffee on an empty stomach Mm, this t-shirt is from Jaku by the way. Hello guys, good afternoon. It is 2.45. It feels like late, but then again I feel like it's early. That's what happens when you wake up early. Even though, Well, I did wake up at 6 and then I went back to bed a little bit and ended up getting out of bed around like 7 30 which is not bad actually that's pretty good but i decided to do a pink eyeshadow makeup today because i saw something that i was wearing from last year and then i was like "Ooh, i really like this i want to recreate it so when i did it i used the afterglow blush palette which is one of my favorite blush palette from nars these are the colors so i use these two on my eyes i think last time i only used the light one so i think tomorrow i may only use the light one I wanted to tell you guys about sunscreen you guys know me i'm not a fan of sunscreen like it's no secret like i don't believe really... when i found this but i thought you know what let me try it and i tried it this is from elta md skincare this is freaking amazing so it's like a sunscreen tent 
and also what I do find when I use this I can I can skip my primer I didn't even use primer today I feel like if I had used primer my face would have been a little bit more glowy than it's looking right now I feel like right now it's looking I think it's looking really matte I think I prefer when it's a little bit glowy. Yeah, you can skip the primer because it does the same job. And I love that. Even though... This is it. Even though it's a tinted sunscreen and it does look a little bit lighter. On my hands, I don't know if it's going to give you the same effect. But when I put this on my face, it blends so nicely. It does not leave a cast. As you can see, wow. So even though you saw the color being lighter, look at this. Nothing. That's what it gives you. I love it so if you guys have been on the market for a nice sunscreen highly 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 recommend it but I'm gonna go warm up my food now which is the broccoli pasta because tonight I'm gonna make steak I'm so excited for steak tonight ignore all the oil we're gonna skip that part I put way too much oil in the spinach don't complain about the oil okay don't complain it's okay so that's my dinner for tonight and I'm gonna have a piece of chocolate I'm gonna get into bed I've already taken my magnesium. I've taken my magnesium since 6 o'clock because I want my body to start like decompressing and getting ready for bed early. Take off my makeup. It's 7 now, right? Yeah, it's 19.05. Take off my makeup, take a shower, get into bed and watch a couple of YouTube videos. I'm excited. Good afternoon, guys. Today is a big cleaning day for me and then I'm going to sit over my computer and edit tomorrow's video because... I have not been able to get any work done like whenever my house is a mess I, I'm just not productive when my house is a mess so I just have to clean the mess I'm also gonna clean the bedroom as well mom is on her way right now she's actually about five minutes away or something she's gonna bring me food my mom is about to be downstairs I'm actually gonna go downstairs to meet her over the shawl you guys know how much I I am so obsessed with the shawl because that blue color is actually the color of the season it's like baby blue it's just so freaking stunning i love it i do have this travel scarf i'm gonna reserve this for my travel scarf for when I'm, i am traveling this one would be more like a house scarf for me this is something that i would be wearing in the house nice. it's four o'clock now and cleaning has been going really well i put my makeup back together and now i'm about to mop a little bit of my bedroom before i go to the bedroom and do a little bit cleaning and then it's gonna be time for my hot girl walk We're progressing and one thing that I can recommend for you guys when you are cleaning or doing any activities where you don't have to talk or listen to something I would say the thing that helps me focus is like 432 Hertz music on YouTube you could just pick any video the minute I have it on when I tell you the focus it's crazy so if I feel like I need to edit or I need to write a blog post and I feel like my brain is going back and forth. So the minute I put the music on, which I've had on, um, this is what it sounds like, really like laser focus. That's what I do to just like help me focus. And next thing you know, I'm doing everything. Let me go back to cleaning. I was also filming a couple of things. I did a couple of just shot the makeup look because it was just so freaking cute. I ended up liking this look. It was a total accident, but it was actually fun. So I ended up liking it. Let's go back now. Today is when the clock turns back 
have a light in, in the bedroom. I don't have big light. So I'm using my filming light in here. So this is what it's looking like. Even my bag is kind of clean. So that way I have more space for bags over here, which I'm very excited about. And this is my perfume collection. I would have wished for the wardrobe to be bigger, honestly. Like, people need to have women design things. We need men to stop designing space because we think about the things that we're gonna need and men are not thinking about these things. I'd much rather a smaller space for my bed. And I would much rather the closet would have been extended. I, I'd much rather the closet would have extended almost close to here. Like, can you imagine all the more space that we've had, especially on the bottom? I would have had so much space on the bottom to put my shoes. Like, it would have been such a dream. I can't even complain, to be quite honest, because out of all the apartments that I've seen, this is the biggest closet that I've ever had in New York City. I'm like, my closet in the Bronx was big as well. It was kind of like similar to this, an entire wall, but even then it was smaller. That my building is very modern, so the people are actually thinking about the wardrobe. But like, just think if I was living here with a man, like where would he put his clothes? My God, and especially in the job that I do. And I am going to throw out my, this little heater that I bought because I didn't realize, they say a lot of house fires are caused by these heaters. And I had no idea. Actually, I bought one because I guess I didn't understand how the heat works. Not necessarily that. It's my own fault, honestly. It's because I didn't have furniture here for a couple of months. It's amazing the difference. Even still now, I have furniture in my bedroom now. My bedroom is still one of the coldest places in the house. It's to the point where during the day, I don't even like to come on here. Last year, when I first moved, in February for the entire month I didn't have a bed I didn't have those IKEA shelf I didn't get any of the stuff until June I actually lived in this place for quite a while before I even got any furniture because I couldn't figure out what I wanted and I didn't want to like spend money on things that I didn't want because it's happened to me many times before doing my move again I've moved so many times I probably moved 10 times in the last 10 years so I have enough experience in moving where Unless I know what kind of vibes I'm going for I typically don't try to buy furniture because trying to get rid of things trying to sell things is such a headache and I don't have time for it So I did wait a little bit and take my time You know to figure out what I wanted because with my bed there were so many beds that I wanted But I didn't want certain details or so I ended up changing my mind so many times Yeah, it was just a hot mess. I guess I'm kind of glad I waited even though I didn't necessarily end up with anything that special My mom bought me stew and rice I am set for the entire week. I don't have to worry about food. It's probably one of like the most amazing thing not to think about what I'm gonna eat because I already eat food. The only thing I have to worry about is breakfast, but breakfast is easy for me. Let me go finish cleaning. I'll catch you guys later. Woo -woo! It's finally done, guys. We've done it. We've cleaned, even though I've got a couple of products here. Um, that's because I haven't shown them yet. And not necessarily haven't shown them yet, but I actually need to create content with them so it's easy to have them here. And again, I always get new stuff every week. As much as I clean is as much as I get a mess, but I'm gonna have to figure something out. I feel like I need a cabinet. I need like a cute little cabinet right here. I really, really, really need to get the wardrobe done. I'm gonna go eat now, drink some water. Whenever I feel like my water is not hydrating me, I just put a pinch of salt in there. When I tell you automatically, all of a sudden, I just feel hydrated. It's just like, try it if you... Happy Sundays, guys. This must be my favorite day of the year so far. Like, when I tell you, it has been the most peaceful day. A brand new video just went live. It really goes to show you, like, a clean house really gives you an empty mind. Clean mind. Now I'm making popcorn. I make popcorn the old ways because I am such an old school person. It can be annoying sometimes. I even have a little popcorn thing. I have two of them. I remember the last time I used this was when Abby was here. Also doing a face mask, as you can see. It has been a good day. I wanted to wash my hair, but sadly, because I had my ears pierced, I don't want to wash it. It's the first week, so I'm going to let it slide. Maybe next week, I'll try to figure out a way to like tape my ears so I can wash my hair. 
is the level of peace that I have. Like, like a man truly think that I would just let them come into my life if they can't at least elevate me. It's like, what? Be for real. Be for real. And this is what men don't understand. This is what they're competing with. Like, you're not competing with other men. You are competing with the level of peace women we have these days like like you think i have time to be yelling after you no we're so peaceful it has to be worth it you literally have to make it worth our while because this piece it's like <laughs> you can't buy it you cannot buy it babe good morning like, guys it is 7 30 in the morning it flurries or like coming down and I have an appointment today with Rebecca Minkoff. I'm very, very excited because I've never been to like anything with Rebecca Minkoff. Um, yeah, I was just doing my stretches. I'm not necessarily doing any workout because I'm trying to do 10,000 steps a day. So I've been going on walks every morning. Not this morning because again, I have to get ready for the thing. It's early. Yeah, but guess what? I just got the door and I'm just like, who is coming here so early in the morning? I thought it was a, the super, but one of my favorite brands sent me flowers probably one of the things that i love the most it's one of the things that i love to do a lot for people but like i feel like people barely do for me and it's one of the things that i appreciate the most i love love receiving flowers honestly the key to my heart is make me coffee every morning and send me flowers <laughs> like i am that simple this is so good and when i tell you i've been I don't want to say it, but I've been having like a rough week, honestly, and these definitely just like make me so happy. But they just made my day. Go back to finish my stretches. Maybe I can invite you guys to do it with me. I haven't necessarily been vlogging because I want to focus more on... I haven't necessarily been vlogging because I don't want to do too much vlogging unless I have something going on. I don't want to just mindlessly vlogging like I've done in the past. When I'm vlogging, I want it to be something important. Plus, I want to share my life with you guys. Like, you know that. What I'm really trying to say is I want it to be more organized. I don't want to just like pull out my camera and just like blab on about everything that's coming to my mind. I want to be more concise, more organized. And I feel like my space being somewhat organized actually may be making my mind clear. Let me go ahead and finish the stretch. Let me see if the water is still too warm. Keep your back flat and walk your hands forward as you lower your torso to feel the stretch in your hamstring and calf. Don't you know how I want you? You should know. Guys, I am back in the same situation. We're coming off press preview, but I don't know what to wear. The reason why I can't wear the outfit that I would have wanted to wear is because there's like snow flurries outside. This is all cake look. Cloudy day. All right, guys, let's go. I'm almost there. Once I, once I cross Fifth Avenue, I'm literally there.
left and I am now headed back home. Do not like when I'm not wearing a bra. So I need to find an underwire one that is not padded. And I just don't understand why they pad underwire bras or also at least make it removable for the people that don't need the extra padding. But I don't understand why is it so impossible for brands to do till this day it's like not everyone wants big boobs hey like. guys i have been back i'm gonna do laundry in a minute i just feel like i need a warm beverage i got a couple of packages and then i'm gonna tell you guys where the flower is from the person came back to bring me the stuff because i thought so too because this is the flowers are from a brand and they were supposed to come with this so i guess the person missed it when they delivered i mean it was early in the morning he was here at like seven o'clock in the morning. I guess he realized that he didn't um, deliver the other part because it was like a two part package. So he came back. Let's see what's inside. Oh, this is so cute. That's this gray shirt. The utility co um, collection. So I'm not sure. Oh, thank God I took a size 25. Thank God, this is a Paloma pant. When I saw this, I was just like, oh, I have to have this. I don't have anything like this in my wardrobe. A lot of orange, just kind of like khaki color. I thought it would go really, really, really great with orange. Good morning, guys. This is my breakfast. I found this new place, this new cafe. Next time I go, I might actually sit down and have breakfast there. On my walk every morning, I always see the cafe. It's one thing that I love about my morning walks now because I am finding so many restaurants around that I didn't know about. God, the scrambled eggs so freaking good. I feel like I haven't made scrambled egg in a while. I've always just fried them, but this is so delicious. So I got this croissant. I saw they had some muffins as well. back from my morning walk i found this new cafe which i think i told you guys about since the first day on my walk really i found the cafe but i've never went in because i had stuff in the house at the time to make my breakfast and i thought you know what let me go in and actually see if they have a croissant although their croissants are not like the most sophisticated ones but they still pretty good they feel like homey they almost feel like not almost they feel like something i myself would have baked also on my way back i was reading an article about this person like me who used to be a breakfast hater decided to you know to try having breakfast for like a month or something every day within the first hour because of the same thing like i told you when you don't eat breakfast in the morning your blood sugar can spike up your cortisol which can put you out of whack that's exactly what happened to me because i did intermittent fasting where i didn't eat breakfast for years also <laughs> number two drinking coffee on an empty stomach I, I was literally doing everything that i was not supposed to do i've been eating breakfast and honestly it's been amazing i still do my intermittent fasting i try two days out of week or maybe three to skip dinner honestly i don't even have to try it's just so easy for me to do because my lunch is so heavy i don't get hungry until like it's like 9 p.m and 9 p.m i'm already in bed anyways it's too late i'm not gonna eat anything so i'll just drink water well, i'm actually very happy that i'm back to eating breakfast like i never actually enjoyed a whole breakfast thing but um i'm happy now all right
Guys, it is breakfast time. Yes, I don't sit there anymore to eat my breakfast. Oh, this my right boob is just so itchy today. But I did have some um, scratches on it, which very strange. My nails are very sharp at the moment, so it could be that too. So. Alright guys, I am back. Today is Thursday. Yeah, I did vlog today. Oh my goodness. I didn't even realize that I vlogged today. I did wake up early, had on my walk. Then you guys helped me with breakfast. I ate breakfast. And then when I tried to eat my lunch, that's when I realized I had at this event at 4 o'clock. At 3 o'clock, I realized this event was at 4, not at 7. For two weeks now, I kept thinking it was 7, but it wasn't. I had to like jump on live, do my makeup with you quickly, and then wash it. But thank goodness it was a store opening, so it wasn't anything that serious, serious. It was like super chill. You know, I got to meet the team from Italy, you know, team from Italy and everything like that. It was pretty cool. Let me show you what I wore. Well, I did have a skirt, but originally this is what I was supposed to wear. Just the tights with a bodysuit. This is from Amazon. But when I found out it was a day event, I had to, you know, figure something out. I ended up putting this skirt on top of it, which came out so nice with the train. When I tell you this Jacquemo skirt is probably one of the best things that I purchased. And I got it in the sale. I think Farfetch still has it. I will check to see because I have a code with them. Guys, it's Dadu10. I tell you, this skirt was such a hit. Like, literally everyone wanted to know about the skirt. Catch you guys later. I have to get back to work. I'm going to check my email to see what else do I have to do. Um, if anything fun happened, I'll let you guys know. If not, then I'll see you tomorrow. Hello, guys. I am ready for the Laura Mercier dinner. This is my dress. I've been dying to wear this dress. Finally, I get the trends too. I cannot tell you how excited I am. I don't have a black bag. The bag that I intended to wear this dress is the YSL Sync Asset. But I'm sad I didn't get it in Paris. It's because I wanted in a patent letter and they didn't have it at the store. And I didn't have time to go to another store to pick it up. This is it. I'm ready to go. So I'm in New York City. I don't even need a coat. So I'm probably going to do like a blazer. A little bit of your hypnotic poison. Like when I tell you, this is so sweet. This is the one perfume that I trust to spritz all over my body. Like it does not matter how much you spritz, it's still gonna be soft. I just wish it lasts longer. But I'm getting shade matched by a, Johnson. a legend. Come on, oh what an honor. Oh my gosh, please. <laughs> all right, I'm so excited. Go for it. You've always been passionate about makeup. Oh my god, it's always, it's always, it's always. It's funny, I started in ceramics. I didn't even start in makeup. Really? Ceramics. So you kind of like fell into it, even though like you've always been passionate yeah, about it. Yeah, definitely. Wow. Now, you can do a couple of little things. We can go, do you like to go a little warmer? Or do you like to be neutral? Because you can honestly, you can go neutral too warm. So I think it's going to come Which down to preference. Which one is this? So this is tea in a neutral, but now I want to see a warm. Just a, Usually I like neutral, but I definitely want to see the okay, warm. Yeah. See. Cinnamon. Yeah. Oh, no, no, yeah, I don't like that's the cinnamon. Yeah, that's I think warm. I'm going to, yeah. Even though it's still classified as a neutral, mm. but it's a little warmer. It's not as cool as the uh, other one. Okay. So let me just put this thing out of here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's I mean? the one. Yeah. Oh, that's mm -hmm. like, yeah. It's your that, cinnamon. That's perfection. Okay, that's perfection. <laughs> you are cinnamon. I'm cinnamon. You are cinnamon all day, you, every day. You heard it here. I'm cinnamon. Yes, cinnamon. <laughs> now and what did I tell you such a beautiful day stunning stunning day I am back from the event and it could have been a never see it. I'm so grateful to go there people I got to meet Jerry he's a legend like every time I see him come on the Laura Mercier page I always get so happy his energy was a magical 
would just click he just had this essence about him and i said that he's in new york city i'm gonna see if he can actually do my face for a makeup like that would be so fun so he shade matched me which was lovely it was just like a pop-up store i guess it was me not reading the email properly but originally when we got the invitation i thought it says dinner i was so excited no i just feel like the brands like when they go other places you know like paris london california they have such beautiful events dinners at like the most stunning location but i feel like the minute they come to new york city all they can think about is rent a basic space and just put although the space wasn't basic they turned the space into like a parisian showroom i want to redo my entire apartment now into that molding the molding they had there was just magical the space was absolutely stunning so beautiful and i was telling the girl please keep this as a store i would love to come here and i'm just like i may even come and just like shoot my all my content there i was joking but it's just, the pop-up is so beautiful i honestly hope they keep it as a store but i don't know i just feel like when the brands come to new york it's just like it's just so boring it's just like oh let's get everyone in one space and that's it when i'm just like you could have the most magical dinner on a rooftop there's like so many beautiful rooftops in the city so many restaurants like so many things that you can do i just feel like the minute they come to new york the creativity you know goes out the window i don't know maybe i haven't necessarily gone to like bigger events where they do more creative things but you know from my experience from all the things that i've gone to i just think it's a bit like okay yeah sure like i go to check out like i'm taking all my time to get dressed wearing such a beautiful dress now i'm like i feel like i wasted this dress um because the event wasn't necessarily like dinner i thought it was gonna be a nice dinner we're we just gonna sit down my goodness my my flat bum it's just like when every time i look back and i'm like babes don't don't even look back because there's nothing there there's nothing there not only you're not going that way but there's nothing back there babe. good morning guys i went on my morning walk and i tell you i love this hair color so much i feel like it just brings something to my face dark hair does that bring to my face dark hair i feel like it just makes my face look so harsh especially when i don't have makeup on but let me stop complaining about that when i'm at work this morning i thought it's saturday and i needed bananas a couple of things from whole foods and i thought you know what why not walk to whole foods whole foods is a 20 minute walk for me i'm doing like 3,000 steps from that yesterday i walked over 7,500 steps which is pretty incredible i didn't realize i did all that walking yesterday <laughs> I would say by next week, I'm probably going to be doing 10,000 steps a day. I didn't realize how much I missed walking. All this time, I was trying to do exercise. Like, I didn't need to do any of the... I mean, obviously, if you want to tone up a little bit, I would probably do some exercise. But for me personally, I've never been a fan of, like, working out and doing all that stuff. Not for me. But one thing that I do want to do, I do want to couple you know walking my 10,000 steps a day with like two days of pilates because pilates will get me ripped not only that pilates does make you a little bit taller because you know it's like stretching your body if i'm doing 10,000 steps a day and i'm doing a little bit of pilates my god like i would be set i've already lost three pounds this week alone and i've just started working this week i've already lost like three pounds and one thing that i realized from eating breakfast now this is my a full week of me eating breakfast actually i started monday i think one thing i realized i am not as bloated as i used to be anymore you know um before how i used to be so adamant about taking my ginger shot in the morning if i didn't take my ginger shot it's just like i couldn't live my life guess what since i've been doing my walking on top of eating breakfast now bloating of course i'm still a little bit but it's it's just like it's normal bloating you eat it's not bad like, wow another thing is i've just been so happy i think just like walking is the first thing in the morning getting the fresh air completely changed my attitude i'm not gonna lie to you guys i've been feeling down and honestly one of the reasons why i've been feeling so down i think it's because i've been in the house all the time never leave never go for a walk i forgot how happy walks makes me to so say if you feel like you're unhappy depressed go for a walk that's probably what you need right now voila food is done and this item of clothing I had the internet in an uproar everyone was so upset with me for the amount of money this thing cost so this tiktok from Prada actually is a thousand dollars 9.95 i mean plus tax it's <laughs> it's almost like 1100 or something originally i got this in a size 42 
and I must tell you Prada stuff in general runs big even shoes I had to size down half a size or be careful with the sizing which is why again I love those reviews on the internet because these things help you pick the right size like I told you guys I hate returning things especially for designer things because the minute I return it like the novelty wears off where I don't even want the item anymore because if I received it I tried it on and I'm just like eh, I don't care for it anymore but this is one of those items that I knew I wanted and it's just like so funny it's been on my mind for been on my mind since last year actually since September I think when I saw it yeah from like the fashion show so the fashion show I think this came out last February I think so as soon as I saw this tech tower I'm like oh I love this but originally because of the Loewe one, the Loewe one was like 300 bucks, which I thought was a lot for a tank top. But then again, it's Loewe. If anything, I thought that was cheap for a tank top compared to other brands charging you what well, they charge you for like a t shirt or something. So I was like, you know what? Fine. And I love the Loewe one. I saw the Prada and I was like, ah, this is the ultimate cool girl tank top. What I love about the Prada, it is more dressy than the Loewe. The Loewe is ribbed, which is pretty cool. But it's a little bit more casual and also because of the shape of the Loewe one It depends on what you're doing, where you're going It doesn't necessarily give you, in my personal opinion, it's a little bit more casual The Loewe one, the neckline is higher But I've always found the Prada one just so dressy Not a lot of people on this I've only seen it on one of my favorite bloggers tomorrow And it's sunny today and it's 5 o'clock That's how you know spring and summer is here I am here for it. The days are getting longer. I am so happy. I might go out for another walk. As I was saying, I've been thinking about it. I was just like so upset when I actually searched it on Farfetch and then I saw the price and I'm just like, come on. I was outraged, you know, for a brand thinking that they could charge a thousand dollars for a tank top. When I tell you I was so upset when I found the price for this tank top, Upset doesn't even compare, but then again, it's part of can't tell them what to do. They're telling you what you want So it's been on the back of my mind and I'm just like mm, I want it but for that price I don't want it that much and then After literally five months now, I see how much I wear tank tops I literally wear tank tops every day every day. I'm in a house with a tank top also the other thing is I didn't realize how much I would become a tank top fan and after my surgery when I saw her tank tops finally look so cute on me I was just like oh my god Also I did get something from Prada Prada Beauty sent me some something and I wanted to actually shoot I wanted to wear something Prada with it I didn't want to you know just put like any, any basic tank top and do it And not only for that I honestly just wanted this I just feel like this is such like the piece like this is the piece a couple of weeks ago i got it but i got it no not necessarily the long size italian size 42 is my size i'm between a 40 and a 42 for italian sizing i got the 42 thinking it was gonna fit me because i saw the model the model was wearing a 40 thinking that it would be too small it was so big you can even see it in my youtube shorts video it's like oh this does not look good and i'm like if i'm going to keep something so expensive i need to get the right sizing i don't want to be wearing something that is so expensive and then it's ill-fitting on me it was so ill-fitting it was bad it was just like making those little like you know weird corners on the side and this is a size 38 i ordered it yesterday sold out on farfetch but i have a personal stylist at farfetch so i texted her a couple of days before and texted my stylist and i'm like i need this in a size 38 what can you do um, and she's like i can source it for you but the day before she texted me she was like it's in your cart so the thing about my stylist she could just add it in your cart automatically so it's gonna be there for two days perfect thank you so much you and angel yesterday morning I just pulled the trigger. I think after my walk, I went to work at like 7 o'clock in the morning. But by the time I came back at 8 a.m., I was on my laptop just like... Tee -tee 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 -tee. And then the next day, it's here. That's because this is coming from the store on Madison Avenue. The, the product store on Madison Avenue. The UPS just got here and just made my day. I would like to thank the Academy. <laughs> I would like to thank Jax, my stylist at Farfetch, for making this come true although again they do have it available on some other website like you know the Prada website you know I could have gotten it from the Prada store but um what I like to do I'm building my kind of like points and purchases with like a couple of stores because I'm at a really really good point at Farfetch I want to like keep bringing my access all the way up so that way I have access to like you know a lot of cool things but I think sometimes it's good to pick like you know a few stores to just kind of like make 
all your purchases not all of them but you know certain purchases so that way you can just like keep building your score the certain access are just like amazing i'm like why haven't i been doing that because there are certain time in the past when i've wanted something all i had to do was just test my salad she could have just sourced it for me i'm gonna go now because i've talked enough enough today i'm trying to be in bed by like 8 p.m all right guys let me show you my fabletics pick for this month this might be my favorite set in a really long while I say that every month about my Fabletics picks, honestly. But this short set is just the motivation that I needed because I'm like, my body this summer is about to look bang gang. Like everything in this shape, it just like snaps you in. I don't know. It just provides that. I don't know what this does, but having that V. They say when you sleep before before midnight, one of the places that you lose weight faster is your belly area and i can definitely attest to that because i feel like i've already lost like one inch on my waist area from just going to bed early i couldn't believe it i just saw myself in the mirror and i was just like wow like this definitely became smaller i need to stick with the schedule getting my eight hours of sleep the spring weather gets here come on at like 60 degrees forget about it so the plan is for me to walk down to the met every morning even if i take the bus on the way back i feel like that's such an accomplishment to try to walk to the met every day we'll see that's like from my house to like 86th street oof that's a lot but we can do it in the summertime i'm about to be a little thot walking down uh, i'm gonna be wearing uh, something long because i don't ever like to show that much skin or shape now i need to get an apple watch that is one thing that i'm realizing now now i need a freaking apple watch to count all my steps because sometimes my phone is charging i don't always have my phone in my hand that's a little bit annoying so i need an apple watch now to count all my steps because maybe i'm already doing close to 10,000 steps i just don't know it because a lot of the time my phone is charging and things like that good morning guys happy tuesday i am headed to press preview and then a showroom visit after that so i'm running super late i was supposed to be there at 10 but it goes on all day long but originally i had picked 10 but i had other things i would do that i had to take care of i'm only gonna take a uber to the train because the train is gonna be way faster and also because it's in soho when things are in soho unless a company is paying for my transportation i don't see the point of spending for an uber because my train goes there straight up i just hate the walk to the train the walk to my train is not cute actually when you're wearing heels it's just it's not the vibes so i like to just uber to the train and then train down we made it to soho i always tell you guys mornings in soho there's nothing like it nothing like it at all but this is wells about to go in Obviously not with the shoes, but I love the set so much. Guys, all right. Well, I guess we can walk, right? And 
and I yeah, can sure. <laughs> You got a pro camera man. Yeah, guys, yeah. I have a pro. Like this is amazing. You see, this is How far are we gonna walk? <laughs> right here. <laughs> oh okay, it's not bad. So, and I'm just going to the train. Right. I'm almost home. I just um, I got off the train. I stopped by the little coffee shop right around the corner. I picked up a couple of croissants for tomorrow for breakfast. I will probably have one for lunch also. I'm not sure yet. I probably have it as like my snack. I also got a donut. I haven't had a donut in so long, but they have this passion fruit one. It looks so good. I'm headed back home. Then um gonna fix my makeup, maybe change my outfit, and then I am headed right back downtown for another event at five. It's like 2:37, so I probably have just a couple of hours at home. I am back home and I have another event later. I think I'm just gonna keep the same outfit on. The makeup was actually looking good today. I'm actually very happy with how it came out. I am hungry now, I am back home. I'm trying to figure out what to eat, if I should make oatmeal because oatmeal is always the plug, it's healthy. I wanted to talk to you guys about this thing. I've just made the change just last week, right? You know, trying to get my, not getting my eight hours of sleep, eating a high protein breakfast, and doing at least um, like 7,000 steps a day. You know, my goal is 10,000. But by doing that for one week, the next week, which is this week, my period came and I had no pain. I was just like, oh my God. Insane, insane guys. And guess what? My knees used to be super painful, but I'm actually very upset at myself. And I'm just like, all I had to do for the past 10 years was just doing this. Maybe I would have been fine. I would not have suffered. This is why I actually love bringing things to you guys' awareness and actually sharing these things with you. So I've got the little spring bouquet and I got this. This is actually perfect for me to wear whilst I'm doing my little work in the house. I got it again. I am ready for my next event. Which direction we're going in? Why is it all the way over there? <laughs>
Um, were any of them any good? No. Okay. She's <laughs> go to take my car to the mechanic, and you need to ask for one. Only one can touch my car. <laughs> okay, uh, I got it, don't worry. And so then I showed up, and Juan was obviously this like muscle, tan, Italian. I'm like, why are you Italian? Name's Juan. But um, he was so great, and he and yeah, we ended up talking. She like filled him in on it, but that's the usual. Like she'll fake something and then send it on. <laughs> I'm headed to my like, location now for the workout and sometimes I feel silly doing like exercises in front of other people. Guys, it is Wednesday. It's been a crazy day for me. It's been a busy day this morning I woke up went to shoot in Soho and you guys know on shoot day Literally it takes all my energy especially since I haven't done a big Soho shoot in a while It took me three hours to get out of the house like packing all my stuff steaming all the clothes. Yeah It was a day um, but um, my friend Sandra had invited me to come to Pilates with her So this is what I'm doing now And I have so much work to do and I tell you my inbox is in shambles like I am That bougie girl that doesn't wear gym clothes <laughs> to the gym I always have to wear regular clothes first and then I go so that's what's happening. So this is my my fit right now and I've got a packed bag hopefully with all the stuff that I need and we shall see it should be fun because you guys know how much I love work at um oh what is that all right let me show you what I'm seeing right now <laughs> this is not Lady Liberty is that Aladdin Liberty I don't know he's got like a faux hawk something coming out I'm not sure what's happening over here but let's see when Sindra gets here Sindra doesn't work too far from here she works in Chelsea well which is over here basically Now we're going for the famous taco spot. Los tacos numero uno. That looks incredible. Sandra cheated. She got three tacos. You told me two. Oh, I thought I, I thought I, um, I was like, actually, let's make it three. I didn't say that. She played me, guys. She played me. 